Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This is going to be my KO vid, and I'm really conflicted on this one, um, because I really like consistency in boss battle, and KO is the ultimate kind of slot machine. So, some version of the build on the left, I think, is the regular one most people will run. Now, um, you can maybe not use JBL if you want. You could put Dom in for yellow starting, You'd, instead, you could go uh, Kofi and Santa, like you see on the right, to load the yellow and the purple, and then lose the trap gems altogether. Uh, however, to make the blast gem work, you need JBL. Um, so the left is a Titan build one, the right is a uh, boss plate one, or you could even use like a, a Twilight Ritual uh, swipe plate sort of thing as well um on either of them but titan plate i think you, you i mean you obviously need jbl if you have santa hogan uh, or not santa i'm sorry um hollywood hogan he's way better than rikishi if you have steamboat that's 20 i think it's 25 percent more trapped in gem damage i still don't have acro steamboat but he's very useful um so I, like I said, I'm conflicted, so I'm going to show the two. I think I'm going to run the one on the right. That's what I have. I know there's more rare stuff there. That's what I have equipped right now. Let's take a look at this one. Um, it doesn't have the extra trap gems like I really, really want, um, but speed is kind of what I care about and consistency. And if that makes up for um the damage i'm losing potential damage i'm losing out on then it's worth it um biggest frustration for me and boss and i think for a lot of people is when you when you don't win right and then you get discouraged and your team you feel like you're wasting time so i'm gonna try and run a timer on this for you guys too um it doesn't really order doesn't really matter i think i would put these down first uh because really we're gonna want to find where the purples go so we can fill the red to get more yellows on the board to get more traps right so we'll see what happens also the yellow swipes are going to be fantastic um so if anything lands on a yellow i'm for sure taking that regardless uh, of course it didn't um so let's just take this i can't remember yeah that wasn't the right one typical merrick's fashion because i'm talking um so there's that also, the traps wouldn't have been refilled because he broke them there, right? Um, so those wouldn't be filled. The red it would be close. So in that situation, you know, reds aren't filled. Um, in this situation, I think I would take the reds because we're going to have a lot of traps on the board. And I'm going to start the timer again. Uh, we were right at about 26 seconds, so... And of course, he would do the slot machine thing. Um, I still don't think the other traps would be full yet, uh, to be honest. Um, and then he's going to break some of them. So it's just really hard to, to get a good figure, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him because most of our traps are going to be gone. I'm just going to swipe this. Uh, normally, you wouldn't try it in step. You'd never do this to get out of the pin. Uh, but I'm going to throw my traps out, so I want the board mostly clear at this point um because really that's what we're going for here is have a board full of traps and then hit the sub into it and uh, kind of blow it up but you remember the botch gems are going to go out and mess up your board and we are about at 55 seconds now so our board would end up being we wouldn't it, it, but again super hard to predict um i think that's the frustration with ko right you're going to need things to go really really well to do things on turn one so in a lot of cases you're probably going to be better off uh waiting and holding it for turn two depending on how it works with freezes and things like that in the botches but you can see the idea behind this build um it blows a lot of the board up right like um and you get the boss plate things out and with traps you want the explosions to be hitting the traps with the buffs um, and then it ensures you're always filling your yellow uh, so that's really uh, key too this is like almost impossible to try and engage what it would do in boss battle um, I feel like this build's gonna be really solid though 
Um, so I'm just running it so you guys can kind of see, right? Um, I'm super conflicted on KO. I don't use him a lot. Uh, I'll be using him a lot this time, I'm sure. Uh, a lot of you will be using him, so I'm interested to get you guys' feedback at the end of this particular boss battle. Can you get KO to work a big turn one? Um, is it always going to be turn two, turn three? How are you doing that, um, etc. You can see Merrick's luck right there. I literally managed to whiff on everything on the board. That's like basically impossible. Um, so that's why I like consistency. Um, but yeah. We'll see how my weekend goes. I don't think I'll stream this weekend because I usually take weekends off. Um, but there, there's a chance because it's boss battle, I might stream a little bit if it's going well, just so you guys can see um, how the clears are going and what we're using and stuff. Obviously, um, Zombie HBK and Johnny Knoxville are by far the two best choices. Also, obviously, they're incredibly rare. I don't have either of them. Um, so, yeah. And this, and this is more the action we want to see with, like, all of the traps out there. Because uh, really what we want is to break traps with the buff. That's where the huge damage is going to come in this boss battle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the speed back up. No one, I've talked enough about this build. Then we'll just throw the other build out um, after this. I won't have the Titan plate equipped, though. But I can show you guys the idea. There's a lot more traps in the other build. And again, you're very, there's so many different trainer combos with KO. Um, I, JBL is the one must for the Titan plate to work for the Titan build. So you have to use JBL. That's not optional. All three of the other ones, completely optional. So, like, you could go Kofi to start with the yellow trap. If you wanted to start with the purple trap, you could go Woods. Um, but then you need to go Santa Hogan to do that, of course. Hollywood is much better than Rikishi because he gets the yellow and the purple, um, just for example. So, let's throw that on real quick. But I'm also trying to throw a, a build that most likely everyone with KO has too, and I understand Hollywood is very much um, rare, you know? 17k Santa Hogan, while a lot of people have it, it's still rare. So, this this build like this, who did I, no one in my loadout? Alright, I'm going to save this then. I'll be using that for me for boss battle. And I don't have the Titan plate equipped, keep that in mind. But this one will need some help. You're going to need some board help. Um, ba -ba 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 uh, generate gems. I'm sorry, guys. I got uh, too much on a tiny brain here. So many different people to keep track of for this boss battle that I'm trying to cover. And you might be wondering why, Sasha. You might think that's stupid. It's starting board. Um, it's a 25% to yellow on the starting board, so hey, I'll take a 25% better chance. I'm going to leave it on two speed as well. Alright. So you're just match hunting yellow, purple. To me... Uh, I would hunt the yellow, right? Because you need yellow for the buff. So I would always hunt the yellow. Uh, the great thing is that board would have been amazing in boss because we had yellow, we had purple, um, we had multiple yellows. Legit, um, that would have been like a dream starting boss board with this build. You can see we definitely have a lot of yellows, right? And I would just continue to swipe yellows and get full yellow traps for the buff. Eventually, the rest of the stuff takes care of itself um, in boss. I'm just going to roll with the traps because we have them. Um, we would have had them on the starting board. Swipe, swipe, get them both loaded. I'm going to swipe into this yellow row break. I mean, it's beautiful.
now we got the blast thing going. Um, like, at this point, if you were at this point, which is, I don't think you can really get, or easily, reliably get here turn one, but if you do get to this point turn one with this build in a Titan, he's gonna hit ridiculously hard. I just don't know how, um, realistically doable that is, you know what I'm saying? But at this point, with the Titan going off, you breaking all the traps, uh, good night, Gracie. Uh, it's, it's over. In, in this particular, uh, boss battle, it would be way over, right? So, that's the dream with KO, um, to get the, those three moves charged with a board full of that stuff. Um, pretty much, I think, very, very difficult turn one, because the animations on the traps take some time. Um... Not necessarily to get the swipes. That, that'll that happen sometimes. For sure. Of course, I have the boss plate, so we're mixing in now cross breaks as well. Or, yeah, those are cross breaks. I, I say cross and X break wrong all the time. Oh, that was a huge whiff, though. That's funny. But yeah, so those are the kind of the two builds. You can change who you're going to use. Um, Rikishi, Sasha, obviously Steamboat is going to be clutch when you do break those traps. Uh, like I said, KO is kind of up to you. Like, how it plays for you is much more important than how it plays for me. Um, being consistent, though, and doing damage is the key. You can't... You can't, as the damage guy, bring your KO and put up nothing. You know what I mean? And, and so much hinges this time, I think, on the freeze. If the freeze doesn't happen till turn three, bring your KO, take your time, get it set up, don't let the botches mess up your board, play it safe, and by the time turn two, turn three rolls around, you're going to go off with KO, right? But if the boss is freezing turn one, all of a sudden things get a lot more complicated and you're going to have to have a teammate that has max unfreeze level to get anywhere. Um, so it's hard to predict how KO is going to run without knowing if that freeze is turn one or turn three. My gut tells me turn one. Anyway, guys, I hope this video is helpful. It might not be because honestly, I've been waffling on KO all week, still waffling on KO. I'll probably change it a bunch during boss battle. Um, but yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. And hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Good luck, guys.